Johnny, tell me about Holy Goat Brewing and where is it located and how long have you been uh, brewing? Sure, uh, we are located in Dundee, uh, which is one hour north of Edinburgh. We've been going about one and a half years. We started during lockdown. Uh, we're very much a mixed fermentation specialist brewery. Uh, we produce, we're best known for our fruity sour beers. We do uh, golden sours and Flanders reds primarily, and some weird in between stuff. Uh, we also do uh, imperial stouts occasionally. Um, yeah, I've been brewing myself for um, over, mostly as a home brewer for like over a decade. And then I've been brewing commercially for like four or five years. Um, I started uh, brewing, I was uh, a home brewer and I started brewing at a small brew pub in Edinburgh called The Hanging Bat. That was a 50 litre kit and from there I was able to experiment with uh, all kinds of different yeast and bacteria and fruit and uh, it's where I came up with some fermentation styles that I really like um, and I took that on and uh, started Holy Go and uh, yeah we've been really happy with the beers we put out so far. Uh, we take a lot of influence from, from Belgian breweries uh, and from some US breweries um, and uh, we have, uh, I'd say, quite a, a heavy metal sort of uh, theme to the brewery. We're all big metal fans and we use uh, extreme metal songs as like names for our beers. Our artwork is done by a guy who does artwork for like, bands like Mast Mastodon and Clutch. Um, and yeah, we're yeah, is, excited to be here. What is uh, in Scotland? Uh, what's the? Are they open to these sour beers, or is yeah, it completely yeah. uh, a shock when your customers come to you? No, you? I think um, most big cities in Scotland have had a good few years now of, of sour beers being brought in, um, and. Uh, so we, we find the market there is really big, which is great, but we also sell to the rest of the UK. The UK is really big into sour beers, which is great for us, especially the style we do, very sort of like uh, experimental mixed fermentation. Uh, we use Protonomyces in all of our beers, so that, that gives us an edge, but all our beers are slightly different. Um, but yeah. What's your capacity right now, and where do you hope to go from here? Uh, we currently brew 10 litre batches. Uh, we have tanks that are a mixture of 20 hectolitres. We've got one 40 hectolitre tank that we've just uh, brought in. Um, we, just, we just took on uh, a, lit a smaller unit next to our current one, which means that we can expand our barrel aging project, uh, which is great. We're starting to take in loads of Scotch whiskey barrels. Uh, we're going to try focusing on that because it's one of the local ingredients shall I say of our of our of, yeah of Scotland and uh, we've got good access to them and there's a lot of array of flavours you can get there that aren't I feel thoroughly explored in sour beer so I'm really excited to get stuck into those. So yeah we've been filling some more barrels and we're we've got you know another twenty barrels to fill soon and uh, lots of space to fill. And so, there's uh, two of you is it that run the uh, so there's uh, Myself and James, who founded the brewery, and we have currently one employee, a uh, guy called Gary, who's one of the hardest working people I know. Um, between us, we we don't get much rest, but we, we make some beer. So, and could you describe your most popular beer? For uh, I'd say one of the most popular beers this we're pouring this weekend was uh, Sun, is Sun Slayer, which is, uh, well, a non Flanders Red. I guess people want to have a beer that's not a Flanders Red when everyone else has them. But yeah, that's a golden sour um, that we uh, re-fermented on apricots and added a little bit of vanilla as well. Uh, that one's a raw ale, so we never boiled it. We, we basically mashed it and then we brought the, we put it into the kettle at 80 degrees to hold a pasteurization temperature. And then we crash cooled it and started our fermentation. Uh, primary fermentation is with uh, pretty much 100% breath, but we also add in some other mixed cultures too to aid uh, acidification. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy with the way the beer is tasting. Uh, it's now a year old, uh, so it's good for us to come back to this beer a year old and, and see how the flavours have developed and uh, it's still tasting really nice. Yeah. Well, thank you, Johnny, for talking to the beer idiots. Cheers. Cheers.